Hi and welcome to my OCRA A-Level Biology Revision with me Christine. So today's lesson I'm going to look at microscopes. So this is part of your module 2 foundation and biology content and specifically under your cell structure. So we're going to start with a light microscope. So to understand the light microscope we need to think about the lenses that we use. So the first lens when you look down the microscope is your eyepiece lens. Now on the side of the eyepiece lens you will find a number which will indicate how much the eyepiece lens is magnifying the image that you're looking at. So normally it's about times 10 for the magnification but it can be anything from 5 up to 20 times. Then what you do is you carry on looking down through your eyepiece lens and you will come to what's known as the nose piece. And on the nose piece there will be objective lenses. Now these are the lenses that are closest to the sample. Now depending on your microscope, depends on what objective lens your school may have. Now if you have 10 times, that is classed as your low power magnification. 40 times is the high power magnification and the 100 times would be the oil immersion. Now, if you are trying to magnify by 100 times, you therefore will need to be very close to your slide with the cover slip. And therefore, to prevent damage, you need to put oil onto the cover slip before you place it close to the oil immersion objective lens. Now what the oil actually does is that focuses the light and increases the resolution so that you can clearly see the detail of the sample that you are observing. So now what we need to understand is well what is magnification? So magnification is the number of times greater that an image is than the actual object. So if we are using our eyepiece lens which is times 10 and let's say we're looking at something down our high power objective lens, we would therefore need to calculate what's known as our total magnification. So in this case, if my eyepiece is times 10 and my objective lens is times 40, my total magnification is 400 times the actual object. So it's important that you do note down which objective lens magnification you have and which of your objective lenses you are using. Now the other part of the microscope that's important to note is your coarse focus and fine focus. Now these are the dials on the side of the microscope which move the objective lenses closer or further away from your specimen by moving the stage. Now what we always want to do is we want to move the coarse focus first so that we can get whatever we're observing into view with our microscope. The next thing we would do is we would then use the fine focus to move the objective lens in smaller steps and that will bring whatever we're looking at into more clearer focus. Now it's important to know if you are using the oil immersion objective lens then you would not be using the coarse focus wheel, you would be using the fine focus and only the fine focus. So the resolution then, when we talk about resolution, we're talking about the ability of a microscope to show two objects as being separate. So if I take my chloroplast diagram and I increase the resolution by 10, what I can see here is I've increased the detail. So the detail of the grana, of the lamellae, of the stroma is much clearer when I increase the resolution. So you need to know about the three different types of microscopes. Because you are sitting your exam in 2025, that therefore means that you do not need to know about the fourth one, which was on the old spec. So do make sure you're looking at the correct specification for your exam. Now, if we start with a light microscope, the light microscope is going to use light as its source. So therefore, we know that visible light has got a very specific wavelength and we are utilizing that wavelength 
to help us to observe the different parts of the specimen that we want to see. Now, the other two microscopes, the scanning electron microscope and the transmission electron microscope, these both use electrons as their source. And because they're using electrons, they therefore have a smaller wavelength. So that's an important distinguishing feature between an electron microscope and the light microscope. Now, the light microscope, because it uses the visible light as its source, it has the lowest resolution. We would then look at the electron microscopes and compare the resolution between those to the light microscope. Now, because we've already stated they have a smaller wavelength in the electrons that they're using as their source, their resolution is greater than the light microscope. So if you're ever comparing the electron microscope to the light microscope, they both have a higher resolution than the light microscope. Now, if we actually look at the resolution, if we're looking at the SEM, it's between 5 to 50 nanometers. And if we're looking at the TEM, it's between 0 0.05 to 2 nanometers. Now, because you are sitting the new adapted specification, you don't need to know those numbers, but you do need to be able to compare the difference between them. So you need to note that the transmission electron microscope has the highest resolution compared to the scanning and the light microscope. Now, one of the advantages of using a light microscope is that we can actually view whole living cells and tissues. So because we're only using light as our source, it means that we can observe living cells, how they interact with their environment, if they are small enough, and we're looking at them through the microscope. Because we're using electrons for our scanning and transmission electron microscope, it means that we can only use dead organisms because with the scanning electron microscope, those electrons are going to reflect from the surface and that therefore will provide us with a 3D image. With the transmission electron microscope, we are going to transmit those electrons through the sample and therefore getting us a 2D image. And that 2D image allows us to see the ultrastructure, so the organelles within the cell. So if you see an electron micrograph, which is showing you the organelles, i.e. the chloroplast here, that tells you that you are using a TEM and a transmission electron microscope to obtain that image. And the reason the specimens have to be dead is because they are needing to be contained within a vacuum. Because we're using electrons, electrons need to be contained within a vacuum and therefore that results in you needing a dead specimen rather than living. So it's important that you are able to distinguish between the difference in the light microscope to the electron microscope and the difference between the scanning to the transmission electron microscope. Now, one of the things that a lot of students tend to go down the route of is the fact that a light microscope allows us to see all the different colors, whereas if we use a scanning electron um, microscope, we can only see in black and white. Well, as you can quite clearly see in my picture, these chloroplasts have got colours. So that is not an acceptable answer in your exam now, as we can add colour afterwards to the electron micrograph to represent what it would lo look like in its natural state. So it's important that you can distinguish between them and that you use the correct information that is given to you rather than something that yes is true that they only produce the black and white images but with advancement we have now managed to apply color through the use of technology so it is important that you add in extra detail. Now an electron microscope is a very expensive piece of equipment to use whereas the light mic microscope is um, inexpensive and therefore that's the one that you will have used within your classes. So thank you for watching my video and if you like this video please do click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also if you haven't already check out my revision platform which is www.aiqchat.com. We have provided questions 
on all the different subject content to ensure that you are able to assess your current knowledge and also improve so that it helps you for the exam. So please do check it out.